Look, going on a five or six mile short hike today. Did a nice walk yesterday. And uh, yeah, I just hope it goes all right. <laughs> Lovely day now. Sort of heading up round mid Middle Gill here in Scotland along some parts of the Southern Upland Way. Just take a few hours, probably about I don't know, three and a half, four hours, something like that. So, leaving the main road, then uh, under this railway bridge. Lovely little back running through it. Stream. Roaded engines are not out yet. They are in some place. Can't get trees out. Starting to grow its flowers. Bluebells. I can't see you. <laughs> These dogs normally chase the cars. <laughs> Hello. You look knackered. You knackered? Nugget doggy. been coming here a couple of years. It's a nice little walk this. Mind you they have cut a lot of the trees down but never mind. <clears throat> anyway so what's going on? Oh these are lovely. I like them. Nice. Uh, so I'm in and out the doctor's like a yo-yo at the moment and uh, I have to be my own doctor now, which has actually worked very well. I suffer from uh, non-diabetic hypoglycemia, can't I really say the word. Basically I can't control my sugar levels and exercising makes it even worse. So often, nine times out of ten basically when I'm hiking, my blood sugar levels go low low fours and into the freeze which leads to some severe issues so experimenting at the moment with foods I've tried everything can okay, mind you over the years and two horses they never speak dear your fringe not your fringe uh, yeah it's <laughs> So I did a walk yesterday and my blood was in the 6 to 7 range which is pretty damn good. Very good walk, no issues. But when I got back my blood dropped to 4 and started having some small issues. I know when everything's going wrong because what happens is my breathing goes up which is the body trying to recover from it. This is uh, uphill here. It's quite amusing actually. I spent two and a half months in the highlands where it's more mountainous. <laughs> this actually feels quite flat. <laughs> it's quite funny. I do love these trees here, they soak and saturate with green. Don't see enough of them though, that's the problem. Whoops! Beautiful. 
beautiful colours, aren't they? When I first came to uh, Galloway, I thought, God, these hills look big. There, because I've been up, uh, I've been up north. They look kind of small. Right, so that's not bad. From, from the village down the bottom, that's roughly just under a mile, roughly. I'm quite happy with that because uh, no leg burning. I'm not hardly sweating, which I'm normally sweating in buckets. Which I've worked out is my sugar levels are too low, causing the sweat really bad. Heart rate is pretty damn relaxed. Starting to learn a lot with this issue I have. Which for 30 years has been misdiagnosed. I've had to diagnose, diagnose my own issues. Uh, Basically with a blood sugar monitor, which I will be using when I get to the top here. And I will be using it. Uh, which is roughly two, two and a half miles in-ish. So I'm not measuring it. I'm basically walking with my body what it's saying do and don't really. My fitness levels are not as good as it was. I've had a rough old winter really. So I actually want to photograph some of these today. So this is a lot more steeper now. And it's quite hard going because it's a thick mud everywhere. Shoes down there, beef tub, got the M74 that way. This used to be thick forest, so uh, I think it's the end of last year they cut it down. I think mean, mean, these trees have actually gone down on the road, mind you. Oh God, what devastation. Now that'd be them winds what they brought these down, I would have thought. <laughs> Mad. Some logs. Oh yeah, you can see with the <clears throat> toy damn my shoe. Oh yeah, look over there. The wind has snapped them off. That must have been quite hot. I know we had some really rough weather a few weeks back. And these trees would be vulnerable, I suppose. It's a steep little bit. Try to get this camera right, it's hard. Let's try that, it says level exposure. I wish it would actually say it on the back of the screen. You have to stop the video <laughs> and check it, which is a bit silly. Just gonna, it's gonna blow the sky. Oh, that tree. These trees want to do something a little bit different and go the opposite way. So you've got the wind, you've got the wind funneling from that way, smacking them. They can't take it. The root is only, the root is only about a foot deep, a foot and a half. It's quite amazing really. 
how shallow the roots are on them. Look, look how shallow that root is on that tree. It's amazing. And they stand for 50, 60 years. So under here hasn't been seen for a, a very long time. Weird. You think the roots would be really deep, but they're not. Oh, the sun's gone in there, the camera's gone berserk. Here I am. I don't know how people wear the waterproofs and stuff like that. Short t-shirts and shorts for me. That's up the top of the hill. I'll push a little bit harder then. A little bit. <clears throat> Hang on. It's nice up here. Apart from when you get twigs sticking in the back of the leg, acupuncture. <laughs> it's quite funny, I've, I've spoken to people this before, when you're going up the hill, when you're going up the hill you're putting quite a bit of stress through your legs. You get to the top of the hill, that stress comes off the legs and they start wanting to fly in the air type of thing, because <laughs> of the, they took the weight off. <laughs> it's uh, it's a wee. I'm on the moon, man. It's, uh, it's quite weird. <laughs> Beautiful. I do like this area. It's nice places. As long as I don't, well, they will cut all these down, but uh, I was hoping to see more butterflies today than what I am. Shame, really. See what I can do today. I've planned for a rough. I've planned for a six mile. I may because I can monitor my bloods and everything. I can see what's going on. Put it to the test. Apart from my fitness isn't there yet, which takes a few weeks just to level out a little bit. So in the background is the hill, I don't know what they call it now, goes over, as you can see in there, that's the path leading over to the views of uh, Dare Reservoir. I actually walked the opposite side there yesterday. So, let's see how it goes. Beautiful weather, it really is. Not too hot, it's probably about 20 Celsius here. Be like the trees. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> going downhill now. This is where I've been having the same problem over and over again 
for a few years now. Uh, roughly what's happening is uh, so over my knees, uh, lower quads over my knees is feeling heavily strained and it leads to a lot of pain and all I can describe is being in the gym doing about 100 squats and if you've ever been to the gym doing like loads of squats and stuff let you go all to jelly that happens pretty much most of the time you know I've just gone down that bit of hill and not putting any effort in any anything to strain just general walking nothing spectacular about sinking in this swampy bit <coughs> and it's legs quad muscles have gone sort of a little bit to jelly they're okay now right, I think I want to be on the other side of this swamp bit here <coughs> forgot about this bit yeah so basically that's the reason why I had to stop running again uh, last time I run was about two and a half months ago did okay went to go again and I couldn't do it so I've had to stop because I knew I've, I'm doing more damage the more I try so yeah basically what's happening I think it's caused by when the sugar levels drop performance performance drops in the legs which then causes all hell to kick off because the muscles are not working properly not getting the energy they require and as you're walking you can't just stop and go back so you have to carry on that causes damage uh, nerve damage and that's how I've self-diagnosed and uh, it's uh, yeah get up in there basically so just got to get over that little bit of a leg wobbly situation going down there probably going to take a while because of the amount of problems I've had with the sh with wobbly legs it's caused too much damage permanent nerve damage which gets aggravated when uh, when hiking that's why I now have to monitor my blood sugar levels all the time so I don't drop into that range of where I lose power to the legs then it causes more damage destroys the knees which is mental and if you've noticed it's nearly summer none of these are out little in the way of flowers trees are still in early spring it's it's i've never known a year like this in my life spring is so late it's unbelievable This is my target seat. Check my blood. Have a drink. Just check my bloods. 3.9 is miles too low. Ridiculous. And that's after. That is after. Uh, jam on toast. Yogurt. Uh, pot noodle and it's doing that that is way too low I'm pulling too much sugar that's because my system because I'm exercising I'm putting some power down up these hills and that's the reason why my legs went to jelly a little bit coming down the hill there coming down that hill there over there and that's caused that so I will be in trouble very quickly that should come up now I'm sitting but it's no that's not good at all pulling too low <clears throat> that's that's borderline hypo 
So this is my favourite spot <coughs> for going on my backside. Three times I've been over here. Down this stretch. <coughs> well, then again, I've got new hiking boots, which is much more grippy than the old ones, which is worn out. <coughs> Just taking it really easy to get them sugar levels back up. So it looks like they've set a broadleaf woodland here. This used to be forest last year. Again, it, <coughs> I've said before, so the entire area. I mean, even if they said, you know, oh, it's got all this and all that, at the end of the day, it is still a man-controlled environment. It's not natural at all, which is a shame. And there's a signpost here saying what nature you're liable to see. That's a laugh, that is. I've seen two deer here. Uh, a few lizards. No snakes yet. As I can't bend down. It's quite windy on that. Pain in the neck. Oh, stop blowing. Easy. Even like that. <laughs> I say two hundred. A three point two. Lovely spread of. Uh, I think these are wood and enemy. <coughs> so that one there looks a nice little photo. I can't bend down, as I said. Give out was a bad job. So these two actually like that. So if it worked. Get that twig out of the way. Get a bit of gardening. And twig still got me. Roll of thirds. Open it out a little bit more. F5.6. Before the wind hits. Right, so my legs are burning. Up this hill, which means I haven't got correct sugar levels in my body to provide the glucose going to basically go to pair of the legs, which is causing them to burn. And here comes the heart rate. On. absolutely spot on reduced that's completely reduced my legs that because my no doubt the sugar levels are not coming up <sighs> making me breathe way worse so mostly the body is going into limp home mode uh, sort of what it is it's just reducing everything weird spot on though those bloods went low I don't know what else to do I'm nearly eating the house out <laughs> I'm nearly 
I'm about f roughly about four mile out already. That's where it can get dangerous. I've got f food, so I'm not worried. Another stop, another test. It's slowly rising, it's nowhere near high enough for exercise. That's the reason why I've got reduced legs. I want it in the five range. So scoff some more food. <clears throat> Pain in the neck, this is. All right, sadly, I'm going to have to bail. <coughs> I'm almost through the biscuits already. This is ridiculous. This is, uh, I'm nearly at uh, them dextrose sweets. And the bloods are only up to 4.3. They may go high in there, but <coughs> this is the problem I have. So they come up with some idea some ideas I'm absolutely stuck because I just can't tow a fridge behind me oh, what I don't want because going back is steep through the mud I don't want full leg failure because I've had this full leg failure three times around here and that is painful very very painful <laughs> Anyway, so, no drama, no for goes on. <coughs> it's frustrating as hell. I'll just have a bit of fun with the camera, just try to keep the concentration. <laughs> Actually, I wonder what butterfly we got here. Oh, oh, it's a green, it's a hair streak. It's a hair streak butterfly. Right, get rid of that. Right, where are you? Oh, it's bloody hard. This is the second one I've seen in a week. Where you going? Damn it. <laughs> that butterfly couldn't pick a worse spot to land. It's a snake territory, you know. Photograph one of them about 25 years ago, and I chased it across this bloody car park because you don't see many of them about these days. Uh, I think it's a Chapman's hair streak, it's a green butterfly, beautiful little thing. Up the hill, or bottle it and go that side. <coughs> I ain't a butler, that's the problem. They just put me in trouble in the past. Oh, that's a swampy crap through there. Oh. Just to lose a little bit of confidence in the legs. I've got <coughs> that will happen last week I've taken them uh, dextrose stuff uh, I got that flowing feeling in the knees <laughs> which is this <laughs> like Niagara Falls it feels so bloody weird it's wet well it's look it's flowing over my kneecaps So I'm there going back uphill. So I've made it up there. Okay. 
pulled my ass a bit, mind you. Done the, done the splits in one bit of mud. So how, how much stable my breathing is. Considering it's uphill. Legs are stable. What I'm going to have to do is stick to doing what I'm doing. And go for an Uber to doctors. Let's say going to prescribe 20 Sherpas for me with fridges. Here we go again. I think that's higher this time than it was before. Five, I reckon. 4.5. That's a little bit high. I'm getting better performance. So I should, as, it, as you can clearly see, it is not rising particularly well at all after five biscuits, dextrose, a whole bottle of drink. Not much is happening. There's enough. There's enough there to not end up in trouble, but it's not high enough. Can't do it. <coughs> I know that for a fact. I know my body. What was that again? Christ. <laughs> Four point five. Four point three. Christ. Oh, didn't I? 4.5 earlier and the issues then the more then this morning uh, 9 yard, if I'm feeling okay, I don't have to push hard. Christ. <clears throat> oh, God damn, love the colour of them trees. It's uh, amazing green on them trees. <clears> they <throat> was last year. Fantastic colour, that. Really is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let's give it a look. <clears throat> well, that is a colour and a half. <laughs> I like the colours on them trees. Um, do f do photography one-handed. Bugger it. Get down there like that. Get down a little lower. That's what it looks like. Is it too dark? A little bit, but I forgot a little bit. One's a bit dark, one's a bit bright. <coughs> yeah, so it is not a siskin up there. I've never seen anyone jet jet wash a house before.
Doe je bladdy heavy. Ik zal veel de energie. I can actually feel the energy levels fading. I can definitely feel it. <coughs> I just got back. I feel a little bit strange. Uh, legs have that floating feeling. If I get, if I'm having problems. Yeah. I reckon this is in the freeze. I can't get any blood out of my finger. <clears throat> if it's high, it means I'm knackered normally. I'm knackered normally then. It is not, that is not a blood issue. That is actually me uh, getting knackered naturally. <clears throat> so, you can have a, a similar effect but yeah that is general fatigue setting in uh, because my fitness levels are not there so I never know that one the feeling was like I was starting to wobble a bit <laughs> walking I feel okay I'm just starting to feel like oh, a bit drunk <clears throat> in the legs and that is because I'm knackered